we're talking about boxing shorts from professional boxing shorts for men and ladies as well as kickboxing shorts and for those that are sewn professional boxing shorts whether it's for themselves or for clients this video will guide you on how to take measurements how to divide the measurements with adding in the ease and then to go over to the pattern to see what size your customer will be as well as to make any adjustment to lengths of the pattern to give your client that more custom individual better fitting garments as they order it from you. If you're going to make custom fit shorts for a customer that is a boxer or do kickboxing, you'd have to take their personal measurements because you're not quite sure if they're going to fit into a medium or a large or a small or what sort of size they're going to be or they could be an in-between size. But And also, you want your customer to feel that you are giving them that extra time and attention by taking all their measurements to make sure that they're also getting the length and the actual proportions of the shorts accurately in their length in the sense of if they're short or they're tall in height. So my name is Tanya Sutherland and I am a fashion entrepreneur as well as a fashion entrepreneur business coach. So if you like this kind of content with anything to do with fashion business ideas and also how to change habits, build a better mindset and creating that strategy from being the best version of who you are to live the best life as an entrepreneur to just kick ass doing absolutely what you love and of course seeing your bank balance grow if you like this kind of content then please don't forget to share and subscribe to stay in the loop of my weekly videos i also have many sewing along tutorials for the actual boxing shorts as well as entire collection of the shorts i will leave the links down below go and check them out you definitely can create your own collection and turn this into a sustainable business and don't my son this is gerard who i'm going to be using as my model i'm going to make him a pair of boxing shorts so i'm going to take his measurements and also to get his length of what length he wants on his shorts so basically you take your tape measure and now with the boxing shorts as well as the my tie shorts it normally sits in the waist are you happy to have it in yeah, the waist perfect. okay all right so is to leave his t-shirt on i'm not, not going to ask him to lift it off or anything because remember that for boxers they're going to be wearing also their, their crutch protector as well so you need an extra, extra space for that um, crutch um protector I'll leave some pictures on the video to show you the different types that you get. You get some that are quite bulky and thick and others that are much more thinner. So you need to always ask your customer, your clients, what kind of um, crutch guard they're going to be wearing as well. Okay. So normally it sort of sits either on the belly button or just below the belly button according to the regulations for the boxing of where it can be under the belt when they're actually fighting. So I've got measured his waist. Make a note of that. You need to look at your customer and see where is the biggest area of their body? Is it their waistline or is it the actual tummy area or is it the hips? Because remember the shorts are elastic and it needs to pull up over the body. So we need to look at where is the biggest area. And normally your measurements will determine that if you can't visually see it. So I'm going to just measure um, around his hip area. So in this regard, um, Gerard's waist area is bigger than the, 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 the hip area. Okay. So where would you like your shorts? Could they predominantly oh, okay. just on the yeah, knee? On Are the you knee. happy with Perfect. that? Okay. Right, don't look down, just keep looking up. So I'm going to kind of measure with my hand where we measured for the waistline and then on the knee. We measure the, the width of his thighs because Gerard has got very masculine thigh legs. So I want to make sure that the shorts are going to fit over his thighs. Just to make sure, because obviously this has got to be a lot looser than the actual fitted measurement. So I will show you when I look at my patterns, how I can determine what size Jared will be fitting in the patterns that you have a better idea if you are custom fitting for your clients. And once we've made up the actual shorts, we'll do a video with Jared wearing it as well. Thank you, Jared, for being a model. It's a pleasure. All right, so here is the pattern. You can see all the graded lines. This is the crutch lines. So I'm going to work on the one quarter measurement. 
So I've taken the fitted measurement, which is 118 for this, the waist, plus 6 centimeters for ease. You can always add in more if you want a more boxy fit. Between 6 and 10 centimeters should be sufficient for the ease. So I've added on 6 centimeters in this case. So it comes to 124 centimeters divided by 4 gives me 31 centimeters. So that is the quarter measurement that I would use along the waistline. And then, of course, the hip measurement was 124 centimeters fitted plus six centimeters which is your ease divided by four gives me 32.5 and that is what i've actually used because that was the widest area of this particular client so that is the measurement i'll be using as i mentioned the shorts have to fit over the hips and get desiccated in the waistline so i'm going to work on the one quarter measurement because we've taken the full measurement of the hip area and we divide it by four, gives me 32.5 centimeters. That excludes seam allowance. So I'm going to take 32.5, which is approximately 13 inches. I'm going to put the tape measure on the inside where the seam allowance should be, not on the edge of the pattern where the seam allowance would be, which is approximately there which is a half an inch or one and a half centimeters. I place the tape measure there. I lay it across and where it is at this point here, I need to still add one and a half centimeter seam allowance. So you can decide to either cut the size 12 stash 14 or go one size up. That is going to your next bigger size. So I've worked on the hip measurement because that is the widest measurement because remember that the shorts need to be pulled up over the widest area of the body. So in this case, it is the hip. 76 centimeters plus four gives me 80 centimeters divided by two gives me 40 centimeters. So this pattern here, the Caleb, has got a decorative design at the bottom of the hemline. So I just put all the pattern pieces on top of one another. So this would be my thigh area. You can pull 80 centimeters need to be circumference of one leg. So you've got a front panel and a back panel. So you need to divide that by two. I've laid the tape measure across the thigh area. And when I do that, in between this, the seam allowance, you can see that I actually need to cut a bigger size. So you have an option. You can either cut the crutch in a, from the crutch, you can cut it down wider, or you can actually jump onto the next size. So in this case, I'm just going to go into a bigger size for this particular client. Okay, okay and then we're just going to check the length. So the length of this of these shorts is 65 centimeters. That's finished. So I still need to add on my 2.5 centimeter hem allowance. So I'm going to look at my size 16 to 18. I lay my tape measure on that line, carrying it down to 65, eight and a half centimeters to this hemline of the pattern. And that includes my hem allowance. The graph, you can always put your measurement chart of what you actually need on your site, on your shop, so people can actually measure themselves and they can send it to you so you've got an understanding of what size they need to be so you can actually determine what size pattern that you would actually cut their garment for them and of course the length of the shorts depending on if they are very tall or whether they are short in height. If you're going to do custom fitting boxing shorts for your actual cu your customers or your clients and they're going to come in and actually take measurements with you then i suggest take the elastic and actually wrap it around their waistline and actually pull the tension and ask them what what sort of your measurement that they are actually comfortable with and of course you can use your, your actual elastic and obviously add in your seam allowance and add it to your patterns if they're going to continuously ordering from you you know exactly what measurements the elastic needs to be and also keep in consideration that you get different types of stretch of elastic some elastics are kind of tight and others have a little bit more stretch i would i would recommend to get something that's a little bit tighter because you know it's not going to lose its actual elasticity very quickly over time if you are doing online I would suggest that you ask your client to check the measurements of their waist and their hip area or their tummy area to see which area is the largest area. You need to have a look at what size they will be according to your size 
to your measurement chart that you have for the shorts collection that you have created. So it's easy for you to identify what size you need to cut for a client. If they're very tall, I suggest put that also in your measurement chart to put more custom fitting to say if they're very tall, you can add an extra two more centimeters onto your standard length. They're shorter in height. Mention your standard length that you have. You can always make it two or three centimeters shorter to actually help with their body proportions to make the shorts fit them correctly. And of course, you're giving them the, you're giving them more of an exclusive design, exclusive attention, and you can always charge more. When you are starting up your business, most of the time you would have to do all the work yourself. Make the patterns, grade the patterns, cut, sew, put the garments together, market yourself, which I totally understand. So that is why I actually sat and sewed all these shorts myself to show you that you yourself can actually put them together. You can always advertise and market that you only have a few at a time and maybe delivery and courier takes about 21 days to give yourself enough time to actually actually make all the orders yourself and when you can of course source it out you can create beautiful satin bags to actually package them in that when you are selling them and if someone buys it from you they open up this beautiful package with this gorgeous satin bag as a gift for them believe me they're really going to appreciate that